Hi folks. In this little video we're going to talk about calculating delta t. So if you remember delta t is just the difference in temperature between our desired indoor temperature and whatever the outdoor temperature is. And so I'm just going to do a few little problems and you can see how to do that real quick. So let's walk back over to the magic blackboard aka my table saw with a piece of cardboard on it. So if the desired indoor temperature is something and the outside temperature is something, calculate delta T. So our desired indoor temperature is 72 degrees. Let's say it's uh, 32 degrees outside. What is delta T? It's the difference between that and that. So it is, right, 40 degrees. What if our desired indoor temperature is 72 degrees and the outside temperature is 71 degrees? What's delta T? Delta T is one degree. Let's say our indoor temperature is 72 degrees. Are you starting to see a theme here? Our desired indoor temperature, we're gonna use 72 degrees. Now, grandma might want it to be 85 degrees, and you might want it to be 62 degrees. But generally, when we do energy calculations in North America, we're saying most people like buildings to be about 72 degrees year-round. And let's say it's really cold out. Let's say it's one degree. All right, what is the delta T? It is 70 one degrees. So you can see the bigger the difference in temperatures, the bigger this number is going to be. And this number factors into our design heating load calculations, which you've seen a little bit of, and I'm going to explain those in a lot more detail. But for now, I want you to understand 72 degrees is what we're going to use, unless I tell you something differently. But that's what you should assume. Now, with all these different temperatures, which one do we use? So let's say Morgantown, West Virginia, where this course is being taught, has a lot of temperature variation. In the winter, we might be down to minus 10 degrees. In the summer, we might be plus 100 degrees. So, so what is our delta T? Well, it depends on what time of the year we're thinking. And since we're going to be looking at heating, we're going to assume a cold season. And we're going to use a thing called the winter design temperature. Winter design temperature. This comes from a chart. This is just data. This is observed over the course of many, many heating and cooling seasons. And in Morgantown, that winter design temperature is one degree Fahrenheit. So what that means is that about 93% of the year of the, of the heating season, um, we should be good if we design a system that would keep us warm at one degree Fahrenheit. That's a pretty simplistic way of looking at it, but that's in general what that means. Now, sure, it might get a lot colder than that at some times, but most of the time we would be good if we use this number. If it gets this cold, we might have a backup heating system, or we might just say, you know what, our house is going to be a little cooler than usual during this really cold week that we are having. So everybody put on an extra coat or a sweater. So winter design temperature comes from weather data and we're going to use one degree for Morgantown. It would be very different for Florida. It would be very different for uh, somewhere way up in Maine. It would be a lot lower for Maine. It would be a lot higher for Florida. But that's the concept. So get that in your head too. 
All right, you'll be seeing that delta T when we do the design heat load calculations.